Hi, this is another of my uh, fictional uh, diary entries. Um, this one is called The Silenced Majority. Dear Diary, Today I want to look back on how I got scared into silence about woke issues. It started small. I told a friend that it was unfair that everything I see on the screen, from commercials to movies to news programs, disproportionately portrays white males as inferior to women and minorities. He said something like, that's not true, and even if it is, it's reparations. I couldn't believe it. Maybe six months later, I asked a black friend why she thought that after Hurricane Katrina, which was no one's fault, there was looting and rioting, I mean, like in New Orleans, uh, while after uh, the Fukushima nuclear disaster, which was the utility's fault, there wasn't any looting or rioting. She said it was a racist question, and she has refused to speak with me ever since. Then it started to affect me personally, in terms of my actual career. I was sure I was going to get a promotion. Yet it went to a black colleague who I know, and is less deserving, really. But I swallowed it. It wouldn't do any good to speak up. But I couldn't completely hold it in forever, and I thought I was being mild. In yet another of the required diversity, equity, inclusion sessions, you know, DEI, the, quote, facilitator showed a video claiming that white males are oppressors and must apologize for their privilege and, yes, surrender their privilege. She asked for comments, and the first person's comment was supportive of that, and the facilitator nodded in approval. But I felt that was simplistic and unfair, and so I merely asked, what about the crime rate? And the facilitator scoffed. I felt unfairly dismissed, so I asked a follow-up. I said, where's the tolerance for diversity of opinion? She wouldn't deal with it and just asked some asked any other reactions the next day i was called into my boss's office and the hr person was there who said your comments were antithetical to our deep commitment to diversity equity and inclusion you can either quit and we will give you an acceptable reference or we will interview your co-workers to see if this is a pattern i quit today's america is alice in wonderland pro-censorship of any dissent that isn't politically correct and is today's America's increasingly anti-merit. It's a good thing I'm not a violent type. Thank you, dear diary. It seems that now you're the only person I can say any of this to. I will have to shut up at Thanksgiving, even though I do think I am part of the silenced majority. In any event, that um, uh, fictional diary entry is called the silenced majority. As usual, I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. And in any event, I do thank you. For, oh, yeah, if, I certainly would welcome you checking out any of my 30 books. They're all on Amazon. Just go, you know, uh, just go there and search in my name, Marty Nemko, N-E-M-K-O, and you'll find more than you can stomach. Uh, particularly relevant is my just published book called Secrets, which has a bunch of these diary entries. Uh, less controversial, most of them, than this by far. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemko.